do have on Canvas quizzes. So we're going to use the science course that we've been working in. So I have done my start here button. I am ready to begin my science course and I'm going to click on the cute, cute picture that represents life science. So one of the first things I have to do, and mind you, this is an overview of the entire course. So these are the chapters that you will be covering in this science class. And then each of the chapters has reading and something to do within them. So the first thing says start here and take a reading comprehension quiz. So what I suggest is that when you are working in your Canvas courses, you open another tab with the same course. So I just literally typed in lccnstructure.com and opened up my science course. So then that way I can go between what I'm reading and what I'm having to write answers about so that way I understand. So I opened up literally the same assignment in two tabs. So this is my reading and I can go back and forth. Notice that it's still the same thing. All right, so I have completed my reading and now I want to work on the good readers quiz. So here's my quiz. I click on the link and you will see that it has directions and then it will have a take the quiz. This one I've already attempted once but you can re-attempt it so it'll say uh, take the quiz. So when you click on that your quiz will pop up. It will tell you on the right hand side how many questions you are and the time that's elapsing. So it says after reading the tips on what good readers do, and this is why I say open in two tabs because here you have what good readers do. So that way you can refer back to it instead of having to go out of your quiz. If you leave a quiz early, it will save your answers, so that's a good thing. And then here you have your questions. It does say to write in complete sentences. So I can look back to my reading, answer my questions, and continue through the quiz with much more ease than if I had to try and remember it in my memory. When you're all done, you'll have a submit here quiz button, and I'm going to submit this even though I haven't put answers in just so that it shows you and it says you have four unanswered questions, I'm going to submit it anyways. So there it is. Once I have submitted my quiz, it will tell me my score off to the right. Now if this is a multiple choice quiz, the computer will grade it, but since these are all essay write-in quizzes, it'll give you a score of zero. And so it'll say zero out of seven, but this little thing here, this asterisk, tells you that some questions have not yet been graded. So don't panic if you see a zero out of a number because most of our tests or quizzes are in essay form so that you can actually write and get some good thoughts in there. So that is turning in a quiz. You can resubmit any quiz for a better grade. Just know that your previous answers will not be saved if you resubmit a quiz. So if you did score the correct answer on something, I highly suggest you write that down so that when you resubmit it, you can get the right answer again. So have fun.